You have astigmatism. Oh no, but is it bad? Tell me it's not bad. It's not bad. Stick around. Hello and welcome, I am Eyeglass Tyler. We at SporterX get a lot of questions every day, but we get some more than others. And so we wanted to kind of tackle those in a little short format and hopefully completely. If you do feel like I missed anything, you still have questions, definitely let us know. Uh, what I wanna to cover today is the question, what is considered bad astigmatism? Uh, I wanna start off by just covering the fact that astigmatism isn't a big deal. Some people hear the word and think that it means that you're blind and that there are issues really not a big deal. So what I wanna to do to cover this topic is to first talk about what astigmatism is. I wanna talk about what is mild versus strong, how to correct it, uh, can it be cured, uh, can it get worse, can it change, and then what level of astigmatism requires correction. Hopefully I will cover everything that you are interested in hearing about, so let's get into it. So right at the top of this, what is astigmatism? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not a big deal, so don't stress about it. I will say that in my 15 plus years of being an optician, I find it's rare that people actually don't have any astigmatism correction at all. It is very, very common that most people have at least a little bit of astigmatism correction. It's very common and it doesn't have any real negative implications on your vision outside of blurriness. Things just aren't as clear. It doesn't fall in the farsighted or nearsighted category. It's kind of just everything is a little distorted or blurry. Specifically, it is a condition of the eye. It is a refractive error in which the eye doesn't focus light evenly on the retina. And this results in distorted or blurred vision at any distance. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't fall in the farsighted or nearsighted category. Everything's just kind of blurry. Uh, there are other symptoms that can be included here like eye strain, headaches, uh, nighttime driving issues. But overall, uh, it, it's a very simple and very common thing that people experience who need eye correction. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions, perhaps about other eye conditions or any other things that an optician might know that you don't know about, or perhaps you have prescription needs. Well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert SportRx opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more opticians tips or perhaps frame reviews, unboxings, prescription content, check out our videos and blogs. We'll put them in the link in the description below. So what is mild versus strong astigmatism? Well, this is largely subjective. Everybody's experience is different through their own eyes. Some people can't live at all without their glasses, even when their correction is relatively minor compared to other people who have stronger prescriptions. And I'm thinking, how are you living without glasses? So it's tough to say really truly what is mild versus strong. I can tell you based on prescription parameters when making glasses, what can become a little bit more difficult to make. Uh, mild, I would say, is up to about a one. And when we're talking astigmatism, when you're looking at these numbers on your prescription, by the way, I did a video specifically on how to read your prescription. It's a video series uh, that you should check out if you have any questions about how to read your prescription or what uh, the different elements mean on your prescription. Uh, check that out if you're confused. But in the astigmatism category, you can be either a plus or minus. The value itself is what matters. Over a three, I would say, is in the strong territory. And again, this is based off of parameters that a lot of brands will make. Like say, if you were to buy glasses from Oakley and you want Oakley's lab to make it. Well, if we're talking sunglasses, they won't do anything over a three. And so that's where I get that range from. Uh, you definitely are going to want your vision to also be corrected if you're uh, dealing with a, a, an astigmatism of three. That's actually where this guy is at. Uh, and I can say that it makes a huge difference being able to see clearly uh, versus not corrected vision. So I would say that uh, up to a one is mild, two is around that medium, and then over a three is getting into that strong range. So how do you correct it? Can it be cured? Well. How to correct it, eyeglasses, silly. It is very, very easy to correct. It is no big deal. I love wearing glasses. Hopefully you're the same because then we could talk about it sometime. Uh, but it's it's very easy to correct. If you don't like wearing glasses, there's also always contacts. I will say with a stronger astigmatism, if you're wearing contacts, they can be a bit of a headache, at least for me, my personal experience, because the way that they correct for it is it has to be on an axis. And so the, the contact lens is actually weighted so that it's sitting in the right place on your eye. And if you blink, your eyes get dry, it can rotate and then you're fuzzy again. And it just, 
it can be a bit of a headache. For some people, it works fantastically well. So that is definitely still an option. There are also different kinds of contacts. You can get uh, the gas permeable, which actually, I don't know as much about contacts as I do about glasses, of course, but uh, they actually don't have that same weighted thing. Uh, but anyway, I don't need to get too in the weeds about that. There are definitely easy ways to correct it in terms of can it be cured? Really, there's LASIK. The LASIK is a good option. They will take material off of your cornea to make your cornea perfectly spherical, which is what perfect vision is. And if you have a really strong astigmatism, that might still not work quite as well. But if you have lenticular astigmatism, it doesn't matter how much material they take off of your cornea, they are not going to be able to correct the actual lens and the shape of your lens. And so there's a little bit more to talk about there, but we don't need to get into that now. Okay, can it get worse? Can it change? Absolutely. If you've been a glasses wearer, if you've gone to the doctor on a yearly or bi-yearly basis, you know to expect roughly about a quarter of a diopter per year, uh, whether in the sphere of the cylinder or both. And that is my experience, what I was used to seeing with people who came on a yearly basis to our doctor's office. I would see a little bit of change and that is very common. In some cases, it actually gets a little better, uh, but more often than not, it actually gets worse. Uh, in terms of what level requires correction, like I mentioned earlier, everyone is different. My personal opinion is that when you're around that one mark, and I'm actually talking total power, so this would be sphere and the cylinder combined, I think that you should be wearing some sort of eye correction because it's gonna make your world a lot better. You're gonna be able to see things properly like you're supposed to. I have definitely seen some people with very strong astigmatism correction and they live their life uncorrected. But I will say every single time when they chose to get glasses, it made their life better. So that wraps up my insight, my little tips on what it is that makes an astigmatism strong. What makes a strong astigmatism? I hope at least now you feel a little better if you do have astigmatism, that it's not a big deal and that it isn't a weird thing. It is very, very common. I hope that this video was exactly what you're looking for, that I answered all your questions. If I didn't, if you still have questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you. Also, by the way, if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better Guarantee, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You actually have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You just reach out to us. We take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also, like I mentioned, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was informative or useful information. If so, throw us a like. You can find relevant videos here and also we have great content on our social media outlets. And I think you should check us out there too because I think we do good stuff. Check us out at SportRx.